everyone, I'm Jordan Smith, President and CEO of Rapido Trains Inc. And today I'm here with our latest F40 pH samples. These are the phase two and phase three, uh, later phase versions, as if you want to call them that. Um, several years ago, we did the original phase uh, Amtrak units. These were the, uh, the first uh, batch in the low 200s, 200 to 229 were the road numbers. This is actually the Rio Grande locomotive here. This is actually an ex Amtrak locomotive, which was uh, delivered in the, uh, in, the, in the late 70s, early 80s. We've got the two commuter versions here. We've got New Jersey Transit in front, and we've got MBTA, that's Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority, in the back here. So um, we'll have a quick look at uh, the details, and we'll also go over some of the other schemes that we're going to be doing in this new release. So first off, we've got New Jersey Transit 4113 sitting on the track in front there. This is a locomotive that was built in 1981 and uh, displays some of the uh, phase three, if you want to call them, uh, details. Pay no mind to the hole between the number boards. It won't be there on the final model. Forget you ever saw it, just move along now. Right off on the nose, as you can see, we've got no ditch lights. This is how these units ran for many years after delivery, up until the 90s when they started to get uh, that feature. We've got MU hoses, we've got full metal grab irons all over the body. We've got the new etched metal wind deflectors. Those are, uh, those are changed on these engines. We, uh, I think we did a plastic one uh, before, which has uh, been replaced. We've got the K5 LA horn right between the number boards. That's a new feature. Strobe lights, full cab interior. We've got the etched metal windshield wipers. Notable feature that we haven't done on our F40 so far, uh, non-dynamic brake uh, locomotive. So on both the MBTA and the New Jersey Transit unit, you can see we don't have any dynamics. Also, we've got the new low profile Q fans. These were mandated by the EPA in 1980 uh, for emissions regulations. And of course, another feature you can see, we've got the battery box now on the fireman's side. We've got the fuel tank, which has been moved up towards the front truck and the air reservoirs have been moved back. So next we've got the MBTA F40 PH sitting uh, on the far track here. So this is unit 1013, which was delivered in 1980. I believe that was December, 1980. And again, it shows a lot of the detail features of the phase three or the later phase F40 PHs. Uh, we've got the uh, nose headlight there, all the separate grabs. Um, this particular unit doesn't have ditch lights. These uh, were equipped with ditch lights uh, sometime in the mid to late 90s, so for a time they ran without them. We've got the anti-skid uh, kind of uh, uh, paint on the top of the nose there. Again, we've got the K5LA horn. One feature that's a little different, this one has the bell mounted right between the number boards. And one cool feature that uh, I don't think anyone else has done is the uh, large yellow numbers on the roof. And as well, you can see that they've done that on their Comet cars, uh, which we have also replicated. So again, no dynamic brakes in these. We've got the Q fans, which were mandated after 1980 by the EPA. Full etched metal grills. We've got again the etched metal wind deflectors, full cab interior. We've got pretty much every sand line piping, everything you could think of that uh, you'd want on your F40 is here. So um, of course you can see we've got the Comet cars here as well. Um, now, if uh, depending on uh, when you're watching this, the, w when we filmed this, these cars were actually in production. So we've got both the MBT and the New Jersey Transit coming in spring of 2021. So next up here, we have uh, the Rio Grande Ski Train F40s. Uh, I've got unit 289 in particular on the, uh, on the display layout right now. Um, this locomotive was built in 1978, and it's actually designated an F40PHR. Uh, these were rebuilt with trade-in uh, Amtrak SDP40Fs. In particular, I believe it was Unit 542 was the, uh, the parts donor for this unit. So these were conveyed to the Rio Grande Ski Train, uh, I think it was around 97, 98, and continued in service right up until 2009. So as you can see, this is a slightly earlier version. Uh, so it's got the, uh, the, the original fans. We can't stress enough that these are hand-painted samples. The production models, of course, will be up to their usual near-flawless Rapido standards for paint and lettering. We've got full ditch lights. We've got the number boards, which are lit. We've got the strobe lights, class lights on there, uh, full headlight, of course. We've got a lot of the later details. So this actually has the three-chime horn, but we have the air conditioner uh, pre-installed. Again, we've got all kinds of uh, cool detail, like the etched metal wind deflectors, Sinclair antenna, 
all of the lift rings are pre-installed, all of the side railings are uh, metal parts. And of course, you can see a lot of the later underbody revisions, the larger fuel tank, which was moved forward a bit, plus the brake was reservoirs, which were moved uh, towards the back of the local. That's kind of reverse of how the, the early uh, units were built around 1976. And of course, as you can see, we've got the matching tempo cars. Uh, we released these tempo cars uh, just earlier this year, and they sold it on almost immediately. So uh, I don't know, we might have to make some more of those again in the future before too long. You can see the uh, paint matches nicely there. We'll get some, uh, some nice good photos for you to have a look at. And uh, yeah, the F40's perfect match. And don't forget, uh, whenever the ski train ran, it generally ran with all three units uh, powering the train. So uh, if you want to run an accurate one, you need all three. So there you go. Of course, we have different paint schemes coming in this release. Uh, included in that is the Amtrak uh, Phase 2 and Amtrak Phase 3. We've got that coming in both with and without ditch lights. We've got a few schemes as well that are at risk. The orders just haven't materialized. We've got Virginia Railway Express. We've got the Agua Canyon. We have Montreal's AMT. And most notably, we've got the CSX. I told them not to do them. They wouldn't sell, but they won't listen to me. Hey, this kid wants the chicken tendies, and I, they listen to me on that, but they won't listen to me on his schemes. AMT, BRE, Agar, whatever, CXX with the right fuel tank. All this research, all this effort, but it won't sell because they didn't listen to me. It's a conspiracy. For some reason, the, mater the numbers just haven't materialized yet. So uh, make sure you get your orders in. Uh, we, we really want to get those put into production soon. And on that note, uh, the order deadline is coming up very soon. So November 16th is that final deadline. Right after that deadline comes in, we'll send the numbers to the factory and get these into production. So uh, on that note, thanks so much for joining me here. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.